Guys, I'm in the salon. She's planting someone else, so we have to wait. <laughs> and that's the city center down there. <laughs> ah, guys, there's a new supermarket in town. Oh, back to school, isn't it quite expensive? Guys, I'm in my village village center supermarket. This is a new supermarket, has not been here for a while. <laughs> And he says buying back to school books, being a parent. <laughs> so I want to buy, these are the hair products, the available. Ruth, no, no, peace. And I want, the sale I want is not here. So I need this for the style I'm getting. So about it now going to the my village center salon. I'm gonna show you what I asked for versus what I got. Follow. Said our village center is not yet a town. So you can see motorbikes are the mode of transportation here. My sister didn't get what she wants, so she's going to the shop. There's a butchery there. Pesa seems to the, be the form of payment or hard cash. Today is market day. Guys. Hey, not today ni make us smart. There's only one petrol station. Salon that I'm going to. Guys, I'm in the salon. She's planting someone else. Yeah. Okay, but here is disgusting. This is awkward. They had to wash my hair. This is awkward, but it's common. When they wash your hair at the village salon, they make you stand. Because there's no chair. Like, I don't know, but it's really, really common. And it's weird and it's uncomfortable. I didn't like it. But I'm going to do it for the experience. Sometimes I just do things for the experience and show you how the traditional village salon operates. So they're washing my hair and they use a bath soap to wash my hair and a shampoo yeah and they said my hair was so a lot i have a lot of hair on my head anyway this is was my experience of washing my hair mostly i just washed my hair but i just wanted you to see how they washed my hair in the village salon I'm waiting online because there are so many customers that day. Anyway, the style that I'm making is an Yoruba hairstyle, but it's actually also African threading. We also do it in our village with the same like thread, but a thinner thread. Now they're blow drying my hair. I told them not to blow dry my hair, but the hairstylist insisted that I should blow dry my hair for the style to be neater. So I did that. Anyway, I didn't like it because at least they didn't. Uh, I told them also to make it not painless, like to make it not painless. And her hands were so soft, and she listened actually. So I didn't even have a headache. So kudos to that. And actually, I'll be going back to her to tell me again. She asked if I was feeling pain. She was really gentle and very 
taking care of my head and asking if it was painful and she'll lessen the pain. It was really actually not painful. <laughs> When she reaches the end, she ties a knot and yeah. After South Africa, Kenyan was The technique she uses is actually simple. She grabs my hair and places the African threading and literally wraps my wraps the thread all over my hair until the ends of my hair just as she is shown. She uses three pieces of thread to wrap my hair with <laughs> one of the salonies had a baby so we were babysitting also, we were taking turns. This is how the villagers wanted you to see. So the baby was crying. They took turns to carry the baby when asked the clients. But it's so nice. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Uh, but this is what the village is like. It's like a community. <laughs> also, the, the, the lady who is being blow dried the hair uh, had to give turn. So because she was not f she was not feeling well, so she had to take blood dry. I had to like give her time, so they stop braiding plating me so that they can blood dry her. <laughs> Thank you.
lifestyle last two weeks and it was really fast when they are making it for me. It only took 30 minutes or so. But they kept on, you see, you've seen how the process of getting this style in the village. They also told me, the salonist told me my hair, my scalp is dry, so she applied a cream hair food on my scalp. This style I'm getting is called African threading in English. It's called Ero, Ero Kiko in Yoruba. And in my Kisi language in Kenya, it's called Ebukundo. Ebukundo. <laughs> Let me know in your country, like in your culture, if you have similar hairstyles and what do you call it? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're heading to 50,000 subscribers. Thank you.
Aliona hivyo akifanya hiyo mambo alikuwa naibu. Credit yako imeisha. Nini yako imeisha? Hata wata mita. 10%. Hey. Uh, 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 My mom said uh, <laughs> I look like a ma. A ma How does she look? I can't get him. Opinion ya Aiden. Aiden va. Aiden just anaka aje. Oh, mas que é que a gente não sabe mais? Há mais do que uma camasa. A tu like snail. É aí que se dá aí que snail. Bem de ver. Então ele é muito bem anisuque. O gato. A tu não sabe mais. Não sabe mais. Não sabe mais. Que dia? Naquela camada do gato. Naquela camada mamãe que está. 